Shalom all. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Wadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, whose world even calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of our Lord and our Savior. Who this world even called Jesus, and the Rechak Radasha is the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue. And I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide, and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Baal Shem Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Baal Shem Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother, Ma'ait Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. And I'm coming back with another Lord's willing Edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh by Shemel Shai unto the best of my ability. And this lesson, Lord willing, is going to be entitled The Lord is whooping your ass because he loves you. All right, the Lord is whooping your ass because he loves you. And, um, you know, this is something, you know, that came across my spirit, you know. Because nobody, you know, said that this was going to be easy. All right. As it says in the book of Sirach 2 and 1, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. So we're going we gonna to catch hell. All right. And the scripture says in Acts 14 and 22, through many trials and tribulations, shall we enter into the kingdom. So we're going to go through a lot of shit. All right. We're going to go through a lot of shit. All right. But it's worth it at the end. Because if we endure unto the end, the scripture says the same shall be saved. All right. And we, we trying to receive the kingdom of heaven. All right. And, um, you know, I just want to open up with this really quick. All right. And plan on uh, opening up with this scripture. But it's all through the spirit of power. How about Shemal Shah? This is 2nd Ezra 7 and verse 6. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. All right. And that's talking about the kingdom of heaven. All right. It's going to be all full of good things. All right. For the nation of Israel. All right. Because if you're a heathen, you're outside of the um, if you're outside of the Israelites, you know, you're gonna have to be in subjection unto us. Alright? Especially Esau, Edom, those uh first a thousand years, alright, and the other nations, they're gonna be under hardcore bondage. Alright, but this is talking about the Israelites, man. The kingdom of heaven is gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be glorious. You know, and we, we don't have words, you know, to to summarize how the kingdom was going to be all right but it's going to be full of all good things you know we're not going to have to work again speak about the israelites which consists of you so-called blacks hispanic and native americans we're not going to have to work we're not going to have to uh you know be subject unto payments we're not going to be put under curses anymore we're going to have slaves we're going to have um rulership we're going to have power we're going to have new bodies you know, our body's not going to be aching. We're not going to sin against our uh, against the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashem Shai. All right. Verse 7, and it reads, The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left deep waters. All right. So that entrance is narrow. And as it says in the book of Matthew 7 to 13. All right. We got to enter in at the straight gate. All right, that word straight, S-T-R-A-I-T, goes into a position of difficulty. 
right? And that's the that's the uh, position that we in now. We're in the position of difficulty, all right? You're going through these trials. You're going through these tribulations, all right? You're catching this hell. You know, you, 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 your body might, get in, might be being plagued with ailments, you know? But this is all a part of the fight. Right, and that's going to, it's going to be that much glorious for the for for the elect, all right? Because the elect is going to endure all these trials, these tribulations, okay? And that's what we fighting for, man. So we can be crowned by Yahweh Shai himself, all right? And it says, and it's and it reads verse eight, and one only path between them both, between the fire and water, so, so small that there could but one man go there at once right and, and that goes into how how every man's gotta you know uh fight their own fight all right the scripture says you know you, how we gotta bear our cross so we gotta each brother has a burden you know so no man can hold your hand no man can can um can can drag you along while we in this fight Right, we we here to help our brothers. All right, we give brothers words of encouragement. We 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 read brothers' scriptures, you know, to encourage them to continue to fight in his faith. But at the end of the day, you got to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right, verse nine. If this city now were given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it. How shall he receive this inheritance? All right, so we got to go through the time of Jacob's trouble. We got to go through these trials and tribulations, okay? And yeah, it's difficult. You're going to catch hell in this flesh. You're going to lose. You're going to lose uh, certain friends, certain families, you know? Uh, your family member might perish. You know, you're going to take losses in this truth. But we got to go. We got to go through this position of difficulty in order to receive uh the kingdom of heaven okay so um let's go here to the book of hebrews hebrews 12 and 6 for whom the lord loveth he chasteneth and scourge every son whom he receiveth All right so we getting our ass whooped by yahweh by shemel shai all right but the lord said he loveth those who he chastening so hey you can't you know get bitter when you catch in hell all right we don't want to be like lot's wife and curse the most high and die we don't want to come in that in that mindset all right as we catch a hell in this flesh as we going through these trials and tribulations all right this is the time where we got to cleave closer to your how about your mouth shot that's the formula that the lord says all right he says when you're put into a lower state cleave unto him roughly paraphrasing all right so as we catch in hell as we're being whooped by yahweh by shemel shai all right we got to cleave more and more unto the lord right not be offended not be in that woe is me spirit all right we got to take our uh punishment manfully all right because we're going through these things from our uh from our disobedience towards the heavenly father all right, and the Lord says um, in the book of Ezra, let's get that real quick. It's Ezra 9, I believe. Try to find it real quick. Real quick. All right. Yep. So that was Ezra. All right. Ezra chapter nine and verse thirteen. And after all this has come upon us for our evil deeds. Right. So all these things that we going through now we're not going through this just because the lord 
you know, hates us or anything like that. All right. We're going through this from our evil deeds. All right. We sinned against Yahweh Bashim al in our past lives. And we're suffering for the things that we did in this life. So all the things that that's coming upon us now is coming upon us because of our evil deeds, our evil actions that, that we committed against Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. And it says for our tr great trespass. Seeing that our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve, has given us such deliverance as this, right? And that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for deliverance, all right? We're hoping for salvation, all right? But this, the Lord said he punished us less than our iniquities deserve, all right? If you think about, you know, the things that we've done just in this life alone is worthy of death, all right? We was committing idolatry. We was celebrating these pagan holidays. All right, we was getting lineups. We was getting tattoos. You know, brothers was shaving their head. He was eating uh, pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. Right. So all the things that we've done against the heavenly Father is really worthy of death. But the Lord is chastising us less than our iniquities deserve, man. Because what we're about to see in these times that we're about to come to, come into the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, we about to see Jake, man, get get put to death. We about to see him dying of starvation. You know, we about to we about to see the wicked of our people be destroyed by way of thermonuclear missiles. All right, so this is why we gotta keep fighting. This is why we gotta keep give, giving diligence to make our calling and election sure, because the Lord has really punished us less than our iniquities deserve, man. You can you know. Uh, so let's go here. To the book of Second Ezra, not Second Ezra, Salakia. Going back to the book of Hebrews, all right, Hebrews twelve and six. Read that again. It says, "For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourge, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, right? So the, the the key to this whole thing, man, is endurance. All right, and it's going to take faith to endure." All right, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we got to endure these chastening, you know, because hey, the Lord says um, the man that put his hand to the plow and look it back is not fit for the kingdom. Let's get that real quick. Let's go to the book of Luke 9. We, we don't got no choice but to endure. All right, what the scripture says, you know, uh, how basically, like, basically, like, you know, we don't have anywhere to go. You know, you go back into the world, it ain't nothing but death. All right, sodomites, filth, wicked ass niggas, wicked ass women. So, we're in the best place that we can be. And that's this truth the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. All right, being under the, under the wing of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. All right, yeah, we're going to catch hell. We're going to take losses. We're going to be afflicted. This is Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow. All right, we started doing this work. We was we started doing these lessons. We started keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. All right, we made, we're making our body a living sacrifice. We're going out to the highways and byways. We're making these lessons. So we started... The, doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Ram Shai. And it says, and looking back, it's not fit for the kingdom of the Most High. All right, and what happened to Lot's wife? She looked back and got turned into a pillar of salt. So we have no choice but to endure, but to keep fighting the good fight, the fight of faith. Because if your ass go back into the world, you got a you got a nuclear missile with your name written on it. All right, the Lord is going to put it in your spirit to take the to take the MOTB the 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 the, the chip you know and you're gonna be destroyed all right the scripture says the same must know me after death by pain so we gotta continue to, to, to endure and when we started doing this work when we started when we made that vow to you how about smell shy all right it's blood in or blood out all right let's finish here 
Hebrews 12 and 7. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is, is he whom the father chaps is not? All right, what type of father doesn't chastise his sons and his daughters? And that's a that's really a law. All right? We're supposed to train up in the child on the way he should go. The scripture says, um, let's get it real quick. I'm going to close out with that. Yep, this is to, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 30 and 1. He that loveth his son causeth him off the field of ride. Right? So Yahweh Bashim Shai, he's correcting us. Alright? A rod is not always a physical ass whooping. Sometimes it could be a uh sometimes it could be a mental, you know? Sometimes the Lord gonna bring you through trials and tribulations. It might take away your woman, take away your job, take away your car, take away your house. You know? And that's that's the same way that a, a, a righteous father does his children. He calls them off the field to ride. You know? And it says that he may have joy of him in the end. All right, and that's what's going to ultimately be the end results of this hell that we catch in. The Lord is going to have joy in the nation of Israel, beginning with his elect. All right? And that's why we're going through these trials and tribulations. You know? Because at, 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 the, at the end result, it's going to be joy in the kingdom. All right? All of the nation of Israel is going to be righteous. All right? Yahweh Shai, man, is going to, is going to be there. You know? So the scripture says, well, there's no vision of people perish, man. So we can't be, you know, caught up in the right now. We got to meditate on the kingdom. Meditate what is going to be the end result of all this hell that we catch. It. All right. It's going to be salvation. Lord willing, we be at that number. All right. We're going to be we're going to be able to, to chill in the kingdom. You know, we're going to be able to have slaves. We're going to be able to have multiple wives. We're going to have concubines. You know, you gonna have everything plus more. You know, but we gotta get through this these trials, these tribulations. You know, and you gotta have faith. You know, the Lord said He's not gonna put too much put too much on us that we cannot bear. So um, I just want to bring that out through the Spirit. Pray that this lesson was exhorting. I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. And with that, I'm gonna close out by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhak Wadash. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children. Who Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will show mercy upon in these last days. And the Wadi Abashim Al Shai, forgive me the spirit of truth. And the Wadi Abashim Al Shai, forgive me the Holy Spirit. There were Chakwadash to make this lesson. Lord's willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom, the ball, the ball. DTA, Kwame Al Shalom, Shalom.